Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Batwoman Season 2. We've got the official first look at Batwoman, so they released two new posters for Season 2 of Batwoman, seeing our first look properly at Javisa Leslie in full. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, they released the first look at Batwoman, was kind of expecting it very soon, we're also expecting a new look at the new Superman suit very soon for Superman and Lois. We'll see Tyler Hoechlin in that very soon because they did a photo shoot recently and before they go out to public I believe they want to actually release posters like this as well. But today we're going to be talking about this, we've got some Stargirl news that we need to go over so yeah I hope you like it and if you want more Batwoman videos, you want more Stargirl videos, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, check back every day for videos, it's going to be videos all week, it's going to be every single day till the end of this month so please just check back every day because committed to doing videos every single day till Halloween. Okay so yeah Batwoman season 2 is coming very soon, they started filming a long time ago like a uh, one to two months ago, you know back in September and they were the first DCTV show to return to Vancouver and so we expected our first look at Batwoman pretty soon, earlier than all the other shows, and we were correct. We got the look, but she was actually wearing a different version of the suit. It wasn't a new suit, it was Ruby Rose's version of the suit. So she essentially had the hair on, and it was the same exact suit, slightly amended for Jafisa Leslie. That's as we expected. We expected her to have that suit initially, and then, you know, she would get her own suit eventually. And, well, the look that we get today is our first visual look at the new Batwoman suit for Season 2, specifically for Javisa Leslie. So this is really cool, I really, really like the new suit. So, this is the first poster they released. So it's here, set in Gotham, you got this cool kind of red atmosphere going around, obviously it matches the red of the Batwoman suit. And you got the moon in the background, very ominous. I think this is a really, really cool poster, it really sticks out. And so, what are the main differences? Number one, this suit looks great, I think it's fantastic, it's everything I think any of us could have hoped for. I don't have any corrections, I really, really think this is actually an advancement from their past suit, because I really liked the original Batwoman suit with, obviously, Ruby Rose, but I think this suit is the next development that they would have done eventually for Ruby, but I think it's even cooler maybe because it's for another person so it's just like a new look and I really like the hair. I specifically have to mention the hair before it kind of looked like a wig and obviously this is a wig for Javicia. This looks more realistic, it feels like oh this actually matches. I really like the red wig before that hate war and you know that's what she actually has in the comics and I think it's very cool. but. I think this looks more realistic and if we're talking in terms of realism I think the hair looks better here. So that's a big plus and let's talk about some of the changes. So I'll put like a side by side on the screen between Ruby's and Jafisa's different suits. On the whole they're pretty similar. There is some big changes which we'll get to right now. I mean the suit looks pretty much the same like I mean in terms of what's on the chest. The material is a tiny bit different, there is some more texture on rubies at the front. Looks like they've lifted up the Batwoman logo on the chest for Javisa's suit. And, I mean, it looks pretty similar in terms of that. Obviously there's a few changes in material and where things are going. And then we go down to the belt. You've got an even cooler belt. Before, the Batwoman logo was just inside the belt and now it's like protruding out the belt. I think that's very cool, so the belt is a bit different, but I think the coolest thing about the suit is definitely the gauntlets, so on her hand, she has the same gauntlets basically as Ruby, but Ruby's was black or it was like a very dark shade of red, and this is more red, this is like the logo type of red, and I think it's really cool, I think it really works, it pops out more, and I think that's very distinctive about the suit, and then if we go to the cape it seems like it's actually got like a gradient of like black and red i think that's very cool i prefer this cape and the legs if we move down there tiny bit different again some changes in the way the material works i think it's the exact same material however it's just 
put together in a different way. I think it looks very cool. I do actually prefer the suit, like I said. And so if we go all the way up to the mask, I think obviously it really fits her face. Like, I think Ruby's fit her face. Looks very natural. Looks like she's actually got a good fitting mask on, not something uncomfortable like, you know, the Flash Season 5 suit. You know, that was terrible, that mask. But they fixed that. So let's go back to this. So her mask, same ears, protruding out of the hair, like it did for Ruby as well. And so, you know, apart from that, her mask looks pretty similar. Just overall, this poster is really, really cool. So let's move on to the next poster, and this is in some sunlight. This is very distinctive as well in its own way because it really highlights the new textures of the Batwoman suit. You can obviously tell near the chest and on the side of the body and the side of the suit, it has some more texture and it has this kind of silvery look like metallic. I think it's very cool and it, it goes with the weaving. And in this poster you actually get to see her hair. It's like distinctive streaks of red. So I'm presuming it's a wig. I said it is a wig earlier in this video and I'm pretty sure it is. But I can't be sure. I don't know if Javis has actually like dyed her hair like that. But anyway, so you can see more clearly here, it's mainly brown, but then it goes and fades into some red as streaks at the bottom. And so, yeah, obviously this is very bright, this poster, and it's emphasizing some of the brighter colors more. And you can see in the cape here, there is definitely some sort of gradient and there's not some sort of shadow on the cape and I think it looks even better here and you can see the gauntlets, they're very red, they're very distinctive, again at the end of her gauntlets you've got the gloves, the gloves are red, well it's not gloves, you know it's like some sort of armour to go around and you see her belt, very red compared to what Ruby's was, that was much more less saturated, so it seems as a whole, apart from her hair, Everything is more saturated, there is more red, it's slightly different in its own different ways and I really really like this suit, I think it looks amazing and I can't wait to see it in action. Obviously we saw it on the set recently but they weren't very good photos because they were from very far away and we couldn't see much detail. But yeah, so I'm a big fan of this new suit, I think it's very cool, let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for this and do you want me to cover Batwoman in Season 2? Okay, so let's move on to the final thing in this video, and that is to do with the new castings for Stargirl Season 2, which is apparently set to start shooting pretty soon, so not so far away, which is a little bit surprising, but I guess they're trying to get to that sort of premiere day around May time, where Supergirl will be premiering. And so the castings for Stargirl Season 2 is Nick Tarabay will play Eclipso in Season 2. And so you might recognize his picture, you might recognize the guy because he was actually on Arrow, he was Captain Boomerang, so he's appeared quite a lot of times. He was in one of those early crossovers with The Flash, he's appeared like three or four times, something like that. And so he's a distinctive face for the Arrowverse, people will remember him when they see them. So it's interesting that they've cast him on another show. Obviously Arrow's not running right now, but I guess it's kind of cool that Arrow in a way continues, but with familiar faces who are going to be playing different characters because they're on another Earth. So I don't think they're going to make a distinctive link to Arrow. But it would be interesting to see if anyone mentions that, like when Stargo officially crosses over and say Eclipso is still around by the time of like the Batwoman and Superman and Lois crossover, whenever that happens, if Stargo is included in that and they mention Eclipso, maybe they show a photo or something, it would be interesting to see if someone from our normal Earth acknowledges, oh that looks like Captain Boomerang. And maybe it is a doppelganger of Captain Boomerang, who is a different character on this other Earth due to Crisis. I think it'll be very interesting. We'll have to wait and see. That's just theorizing right now, but it's cool that he's back in some way or another. The other casting is Jonathan Cake. Interesting name. He has been cast as the Shade for Stargirl Season 2. The Shade was teased at the end of Stargirl Season 1. Very exciting because I think the Shade is a really good character and I really liked Stargirl Season 1 and how it ended setting up the Shade I thought was very interesting. So I can't wait to see where they go with all of these new villains that have been cast. Obviously Eclipso is going to be you know, the main big bad with the Shade so I hope they work together in some way. And I can't wait for Stargirl Season 2, should be filming pretty soon 
and maybe, just maybe, we'll see them finally cross over properly with the Arrowverse. She did cross over in Crisis, but they didn't see each other, so I don't know if it actually counts. However, they're in the same universe, so maybe, like I mentioned just before, we'll get to the Batwoman crossover with Superman and Lois, and maybe Stargirl will show up for the first time, and maybe they somehow make that Eclipso link. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.